I'm not like you, you know? Yeah, it's like, how can, like, how can I follow you? When right. It's like, you never had, you never went through what I went through. Right. You never had your, your, right. your, your dog get pulled up by a hawk. And you, and you want me to, to smile? Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cartier. I am Froppy. Is that a real thing? Yeah, it's a frog in anime. And this here is Frank, who's wearing green just like a frog. Um, he's looking good. That's what I was wearing yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> um, is this your new one? Yeah, that's my new one. Okay. No big deal. Uh, it's National Coffee Day. On uh, Thursday, uh, September 29th? Thursday, September 29th. Um, I didn't have my coffee today. I'm feeling tired. Um, I had coffee and I am feeling tired. Yeah. I had coffee and a, and a Red Bull. Oh. Doesn't help me. Well, it probably doesn't do any, any good either. Uh, Meaning? Like your body. All that caffeine. I don't know. You know what I was thinking about? Can you overdose on, co- on caffeine? I think you can, but I doubt that a coffee and a Red Bull are anywhere close to that happening. Yeah. What well, does just explode your heart? I don't know. Nah. I think don't try it. I think the science is out. On don't it. try this at home. But I am fatigued. Fatigue just sounds too good. I'm just tired, and caffeine doesn't help. I'm one of those people. Hey, but I tried, want, it's I one know. of those days. I tried. I tried. It Beautiful anyway. Thursday, the end of September. Um, it's not Christmas. You sure? And I, I know for a fact it's not Merrymas. Remember we celebrated Merrymas. We did, and that was not Jesus's birthday, but Mary's, Mary's birthday. birthday. It is Michael Miss. Michael Mass. Michael Miss. The great angel? The Archangel Michael. But it is a celebration of not just one Archangel, but three. Oh. Michael. Michael. Gabriel. Gabriel and, and Raphael. Raphael. Um, it is the you celebrate the three of them. Um, doing good deeds, dancing, and Dancing? I thought they were warriors. Or are they dancing? I think you dance the celebration of like, you know, when the warriors come home and they have. The I never saw a warrior dancing. No, the warriors, not the dancing one. Oh, we dance around them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, you know, it's, it's. Yeah. I'm for that. It's, it's, it's interesting. I told you before that, um, at and the you end. Eat roast goose. Roast goose. Yeah. Do people eat geese <laughs> around here? No. You I can't think buy a goose in a store. No, I think it's old school. Like that's like because you know, Christmas time is a roast goose, and they might some stores might have goose, but like definitely the regular generic supermarkets, even no. at Christmas, do not have goose. I've, no, I think most people in America have never even had no uh, goose. Goose, roast goose. Um, I, I um, oh, the Catholic Church at the end. Like I said yesterday, I've been going to Catholic Church my whole life. Okay. Recently, they say the, they say this they say prayer to Saint Michael at the end. And they didn't used to never, and I and I, I wasn't there when they when they said let's start doing this. But now they say do it, and it's in the you back of the, the book. But it's a prayer, and it says, I forget what it says, but you could put it up, and it's saying it's saying, um, Archangel Michael, help us fight the demons, and and it's a weird way to end it, right? Because you're going out like you're you're all happy and at peace and joyful, and and then and then the last prayer is, watch out. I kind of, I mean, I'm not that against it. You know, you when you when you leave church, right? It's like in here, it's a safe place about love and, and that happiness stuff. And it's like before you go, just know the devil's going to be out there. Oh. Put your guard up. I'm it's interested like in knowing the armor of God. I'm interested in knowing uh, how widespread it is. Is it just our area? And I'm interested. That little prayer. Yeah. Oh, that it started happening as a root routine at the end. And it happened at multiple churches, not just the one. Yeah, I've been to multiple churches, um, Catholic churches in my area, not my just my state, but you know, tri-state area. Yeah. No, actually, I even heard it in Florida. Oh, well, that's everywhere. I want to know about this. Yeah, we'll look into it. Maybe you just didn't realize that they were saying it. No, they weren't. I knew. I'm, hey, I'm not. I'm don't not tem- saying. Don't test me on it. It, they didn't used to say it. So happy birthday, Michael. Oh, that's all the archangels. I, 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 they give a little bit. You know. Why don't they call it Angel Mass then? It have to be Archangel Miss. Why don't they call it Archangel Miss? I don't know. It's, it's, it is kind of weird, right? Like, why are you giving it all to Michael? Well, I think he's the only one mentioned in the Bible. 
Is he? No, he's not. The New Testament. I don't know. No. Who came to visit Mary? Gabriel? That's Gabriel. So there's more than one mentioned. So I'm sure Raphael, what do you think? He just got made up? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. Um, but yeah, those are the days. So we have a little bit of coffee day. You know, a little earthly, have a, a little spiritual. Coffee. Kind of like this podcast. This is a nice little uh, communal they thing. They should give people named Michael free coffee today. Do you know? No, no. The people, the person, the, okay. the human being who, name who is uh, being celebrated today is Carson. It's National Carson Day. It's not. It is. Why, Carson? No, just, Johnny Carson. If your name's Carson, you're really. Yeah. You're kidding. No. Carson so, Daly from the old MTV. Uh, is he Carson MTV? Carson Wentz, ex Eagle, current day sucker. Ex Eagle. Current sucker. Well, he's very religious. Sucka. He is. He is. So we like you like his. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah. So if your name is Carson, shout out. If you're an archangel and your name is Michael, Gabriel, or Raphael, shout out. If you've ever drank in coffee, mm-hmm. shout out. Shout out, yeah. Shout out from the ceiling tops. Um. Yeah. Anything else? Nothing new. Um. Coming into October. Coming into spooky season. Yeah. People the- have been calling September spooky season. That's new. <laughs> Yeah, I, you know how things go. People want to be constantly celebrating something. Yeah. And so when summer's over, it's like we don't want to have a dead space of time to not celebrate anything. Yeah. So let's start Halloween early when in reality they should be celebrating Coffee Day and Michaelmas. It's not that the you, you, we know this better than anyone. It's not that the holidays there's, aren't there. There's not a lack of holidays, it's, right? There's a lack of, of appreciation yeah. for certain holidays. Well, it's like anything. Only certain things get popular. Well, you let's know? make Michael Miss popular. Let, right. let, you know, it might seem crazy, but Christmas probably seemed crazy. Michael used time. to be uh, a hugely popular name for babies. I think it, it used was, to be. Well, I don't. I, I, I have a Michael in my class. He's two years old. Is he a oh, baby? Because I was, what I was going to say was, it used to be number one every single. You couldn't. You couldn't look at a year. Um, there's those Social Security Amer- American. Yeah. I'm talking about Social Security baby name lists, and uh, Michael was the top every single solitary year. Yeah. And then years recently, you had names like Carson and um, Spencer, and you kicked out the the James and the Peter and the Paul. Do you know uh, a Muffin Man show called Spencer PI or something? It sounds familiar. Spencer Investigator, Spencer. I think it's Spencer P.I. Why does that sound familiar? Because it's from your time. It is? I was at school and, and I, I was talking to one of the women who worked there and I'm like, she's like, Spencer, she's like, Spencer P.I. She's like, you're, you're too young for that show. It's about like a guy who... You looked it up already? Yeah. And like he has like a like sidekick and they they end up in precarious situations, but he always gets out. Spencer Spencer for hire. Yeah, Spencer for hire. Yeah, Spencer for hire sounds familiar. It's it's spelled differently than yours. Yeah, with an S, which always looks so abnormal to me. Um, goodness gracious, do I know this show? Okay, what year is it from? That's what I'm. Well, it's from a book in 1973, and then there's a TV. Sh- the TV series was in the 1980s. So how do you not remember it? I don't know. But who was the actor? I'm trying to see, and I don't see it. It's just some guy. Oh, he wasn't famous? That's what, weird. I mean, he might be famous to Portrayed you. Portrayed by Robert Ulrich, Joe Mantegna, and Mark Wahlberg. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, in March 2020, he was featured in the Netflix thriller Spencer Confidential. I don't know any of this. I, 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 I'm, not, I'm going to say that's not Are you true. just lying? <laughs> Maybe it's my namesake. And you're just like, now well, you've been exposed. You never know what influences you. Did I see that? And it's stuck in somewhere in my mind. Yeah. Maybe. I, because it, you do, you know, if someone's, if someone, when you're pregnant and someone suggests a name, you know, you kind of, you kind of right off the bat, you go, yes or no. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So something about it made me think that's a good name for a boy. So maybe one day he'll need to get hired. Spencer <laughs> for hire. That should be my Instagram handle. Oh, yeah. Sure, it's taken. Really? By someone older. Yeah, I mean, if you didn't know it, and you know everything, I really do. And yeah. Spencer for hire. After I see, like, I don't yeah. know, I don't know. It's Maybe a- as a child, I didn't want to watch a detective show. But as a child, you said it was it was in the eighties. You were a teenager. I was 
born in the 80s. Thank you. You were born in the 30s. Thank you. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It was crazy. I know like I know you hate um talking about being old. Oh my god. No, like <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I know. know you hate I know. Old no, I know you hate when people talk about oh, yeah. I'm so old. I know, I'm so old. And I, I don't want to dwell on it, but I work with some very young people mm-hmm. and they're like functioning enough to be like they're not n- newborn babies, so you know you can like kind of see that they're gonna grow up to be someone. But yet yeah, they were still born in like, you know, 20, 2019, 2020. It's like, it's crazy that like a good amount of that class will can live, is going to live to like 2100. Wait, no. 2100. Yeah. You know what I mean? They'll be 80. All 80, which is a very right. normal age. We to know 80 at. year olds now who are yeah. doing fine. Okay. So I was just trying to wrap my, first I thought you were saying you worked with people <laughs> and then I'm like. <laughs> I work with. You, well, they were co- born. Uh, what year is it? Okay, <laughs> your students are yeah. so small and young, and they're so but like, n- newly like, made. They're like humans now, but right? they like, are humans. They're, they're going they're, forward they're, they're, every day, more and more human. They're walking <laughs> and talking, like you know that you. It's yeah. a very small human, but a human. Okay. Yeah. You know, sometimes we put when we look at babies, we think that is just a baby. You'll always be a, baby. Always be a baby. Yeah, the babies of the world. You'll always yeah. be my baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now you're saying what? Now I'm saying. It's you, just kind of wacky to think like that, that. You can't believe that you're almost 30 years older than them. Not even that. Like It's more of just like that. They're going to live so long. Maybe. Oh, yeah. I mean, with the way the, with the state of the world, <coughs> if we keep you crashing into asteroids, you see that? No. We uh, NASA crashed like a three hundred million dollar spaceship into an asteroid on purpose. Oh, to save us, just like a movie? <laughs> no. Yes and no. Okay. We were never in any danger, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, like. They were practice? Te- practice. Fun, practice makes practice. Fun. So it was like a real life video game. Yeah. And yeah, asteroids. Yeah. Um, so it was are we able to um deflect an asteroid mm-hmm. had it been coming at us? Right. Uh did we do it? I don't know. I, mm. I just read headlines. But um yeah, that's really that. Uh so moving on. Um it is Thursday, but we said that already. So we're gonna do a little something fun today. That we've never done before. It's called Walk Through Thursday. Roll the brand new intro. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cause Walk Through Wednesday just begun. What's going on? That looked like the old intro. No. It was a little different? Yeah, it was a little different. Okay. Um, It is Walk Through Thursday. Something you probably know nothing about. Um, What do we do on Walk Through Thursday? We open up the Bible. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, on, on national Mi- or not international on Michaelmas, of course we're going to open the, mm-hmm. the Bible. Once the, the Bible is open, you know how we didn't re- no, we didn't really know. We're like, wait, is that is Gabriel in that part? Or that? Oh, right. Well, how would we, we ever find out? We pick a little verse. Okay. So, you know, this is some of the things we forget. We remember the story of Mary being talked to by an angel. We don't remember the little details. So today's the day where we just pick up one verse. Okay. And we break it down. We find like deeper meanings out of that one verse. We get to know that little verse better. Maybe it's a popular verse and then we didn't really, we misconstrue it. Yeah. Uh, Star Wars, you know, uh, Luke, I am your father is not the real line. Right. It's no, I am your father. Not Luke. him. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, so we're just going to get into it. We're going to break it down sentence by sentence, line, line by, by line, line, word, word by word, word, letter, letter by, by letter. letter. That's it by that's it. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to tell you what we're reading. If I knew, we're reading out of the book of Laminations. Which you always say wrong, and you just did again. Lamentations. Yeah. Laminations. Um, You're lamenting. Lamenting. Yeah. What does that mean? Lamenting is like complaining, kind of. <laughs> oh, well, I have. A, I, I could write a book about laminations as well, then. Lamentations. <laughs> I could write a book about some lamentations as well. Then we'll call you Jeremiah. Call me Jeremiah. Wait, so, so Jeremiah wrote Lamentations? Yes. And also Jeremiah? I guess. Wow, busy man. <laughs> now, uh, last Walk Through Thursday, we talked about when Jesus was on the cross. Luke. It was out of the book of Luke saying, forgive them for they know not what they do. But before we did that, as we did Luke a lot of times before, he said, you went back and did the playlist and you saw that there was a lot of books we haven't even pulled Right. Out. Is lamin 
Temptations, one of them. <laughs> yes. Okay. Sweet. Yes, it's the first time it'll be on the playlist for Walk Through Thursday. Not the first time we've talked about Lamentations, but... Of course but, not. Right. I mean, we've talked about everything in the Bible. We've been doing we, this we have, especially on Instagram. 20 years. So um, we're reading out a new international version. It's just our thing. You can read whatever version you want. You're pretty, you're pretty loyal to new international am, version. You're, you're kind of, you kind you of know, know that I also like contemporary English yeah, yeah, and... Yeah. English, English, English standard. No, I like, yeah, I like, I'm definitely new international version reader. Uh, King James, if I'm putting it on a wall. Okay. Or a oh, okay. sticker. Yeah. I'll like the, you throw a little thou in, but. Right. We're, so we're reading Lamentations 3, 21 to 24. So you brought out three verses. Yeah. Four verses. Yeah. Okay. But it's short, so. Well, each one. Sometimes, we, we, you know what? We still could take just, we could just take 21. And that's fine. And uh, and sometimes with time we, we change our minds. But time heals all wounds. Sometimes I don't know why I picked it because I picked it a few weeks ago. But sometimes <clears throat> you get a nicer little bite if sometimes it it comes in a block, you know. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's just read it. I will. You will? No, listen. Yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love we are not consumed. For his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will wait for him. Beautiful. Yeah. Kind of got confused. Well, that's why we're here. That's, that's why we're here. Um, you kind of got confused. So I'll just tell you the backstory. Uh, give me a little backstory. Give me a little Jeremiah complaining lamentations backstory. Who is speaking in lamentations Jeremiah. three? Jeremiah. God. Jeremiah. Oh. Um, okay. Jeremiah is talking about his own experiences. Okay. And that's an example of how the people of Judah should behave under there. So the, the, the people of Judah, I guess, at this time must have been going through something. So Jeremiah is... Speaking from experience. Right. About his own lamenting. Of, okay. And... Um, why? So that... So it's like advice. Like, uh, take it from me. Because I've been he was restored eventually. So he's telling the people of Judah, have hope for restoration. Because, you know, like, there's a few things like this in the Bible where if you just look at... If you just walk through a tiny piece of it at a certain place and don't read the whole thing, you'll think that they're just complaining and yeah. things never got better. Or why are we looking at this? Um, and it is to make you not feel bad about complaining. Yeah. Okay. And so, the, right. What, what will Book of Lamentations teach us? It gives sacred dignity to the emotion we feel when we see injustice and suffering. Even within ourselves. Right. Oh, that's nice. Um, so it's it's saying, you know, when you see suffering yourselves, you can read the Book of Lamentations and say, oh, they were suffering too. And they made it out of it. Yeah. Or right. That, if you had just a book of rainbows, you would. I always just say that about Christians in general. Feel, yeah. You would feel I'm not like you, you know. Yeah, It's like, how can like, how can I follow you? When right. It's like you never had you never went through what I went through. Right. You never had your your, right. your, your dog get pulled up by a hawk and you <laughs> and you want me to, to smile. Right. I watched little Rufus. That's such a. <laughs> that's that's a sad. I watch a little thing that happens. Just head straight to the yeah. hawk's nest. Um, you didn't, right? You didn't. Okay, I'll use a different analogy if I may. And I would say, like, if I went to, or, or if I was being um, coached, you know, by by a, a exercise coach or a gym or something, and it's like it comes easy to them, you know, boop boop boop. They're mm -hmm. doing their aerobics, so they're lifting the heavy weights, and and I just would feel like. I'm not connecting with you. Did you ever feel too tired that yeah. a Red Bull and a coffee didn't help you? Yeah, yeah. You see it like well, sometimes with like the just workaholics. Yeah. And it's like I, I I can't even get motivation to do one thing, and you're doing all this, and you're right. happy about it. Yeah. All yeah. right. So why are you confused? It was just you know what confused is the wrong word. Okay. It's almost like it wasn't really giving an international version. Okay. It just seemed like it was like worded in the... Well, listen, the, the I thought you might have said that. Oh. So even though you're even though you're opposed to other versions, I do have the CEV and ESV oh, and maybe man. you'll like them better. And you could... They're, they're super similar. <sighs> okay. You, you CEV. See the difference. Then I remember something that fills me with hope. 
The Lord's kindness never fails. If he had not been merciful, we would have been destroyed. The Lord can always be trusted to show mercy each morning. Deep in my heart, I say, the Lord is all I need. I can depend on him. Is this Was this all one big trick to get me to... Because <laughs> why did you set me up saying, like, you only listen to the New International Version? That's like I read a completely different verse. I completely get that. Okay, so maybe sometimes you might want to read the contemporary English version if if the New International Version is giving you a little hiccup or two. Yeah, well, you know what? Let this be a lesson for all of us while we are here for this is the nice thing about it. Like a yeah. lot of people, they only know the Bible that, you know, like some people only do King James or just the Bible that's in their house. Yeah. And on a very small scale. And so a lot of times it's like you think of the Bible and you think of, confusing a bible yeah you think of just confusing words and concepts and it's all thou shalt lament thy f- fiend whatever right and you're like I-, I don't feel like dissecting yeah. that when on a very small scale i just read a very short verse twice and the first one it was kind of like ah, what are we doing here yeah second one boom got it knew the meaning Felt so, it. so you might think to yourself well i really only have the bible in my house like this Bible, which we bought at a dollar store, I bought. We, the Queen's okay. English. Um, and okay. you were like, what the heck is this? First of all, the type yeah. is so tiny. I don't even know what version it is, but it's really not enjoyable. No. So you might say, well, what are they talking about? All these different versions. If you go on, which we haven't said it in a really long time. Bible <laughs> Gateway. <laughs> BibleGateway.com. And any verse you type in, they say what, what version you want to hear. You can read them all. You can read them all. You can you can click and say, "Let me explore." Let me explore. And um, they all are the same verse written in a way for different people, you know, preferences. Okay. Well, let's just you know walk through it. I'm I'm liking the CEV. Okay. So we're just gonna read this with the CEV. Maybe bounce around with other ones. Okay. Um. First line. Um, First then I remember something that fills me with hope. So, like, in the, the NIV says, yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope, right. which that's a little confusing. Right. But then I remember, so what you're saying is backstory. He's explaining to them, I know where you're at, and you know what? When I'm in that position, or when I was in that position, then I remember something that fills me with hope. Right. So now I'm at the edge of my seat. Right. And I'm like, okay, so I'm in a bad place. This guy's telling me, then I remember something that fills me with hope. And it's like, all right, I want to hear what fills him with hope. Right. The Lord's kindness never fails. If he had not been merciful, we would have been destroyed. Um, then uh, the ESV, uh, the English Standard Version, is, I like this, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. Because you see steadfast in the Bible as well, but I always just see it as like the unending. Like right. The unending um, love. Which like yeah, I see what you're saying. Because the, the twenty or sorry, CEV is the Lord's kindness never fails. Right, makes it seem. But I like always getting pulled back to that idea of God is love. Love, yeah, I like that too. Because so we have um, one version is compassion, one version is kindness or mercy, yes. and then you have steadfast love. And I like that because even with the word mercy, you kind of think like, please have mercy on me. Like he's making a decision. Yes. But steadfast love is like it's that's all, all it is. It's always there. Uh, that's all, and uh, that's all it is. All yeah. it is is love. It can never cease. Right. Because yeah, kindness is like he's choosing to do yes. it. Yes. Well, obviously he is, but the like idea of steadfast love. Yeah, you're a little more um, of the Lord never you know, ceases. Will will he? Yeah. You wouldn't say will he love me today, right? Because you, you're just in this mindset of knowing you're always loved. But will he grant me kindness? Will he, you know, grant me? mercy yeah and it never ends it's, the mercy never come to an end you know um da, 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 the lord can always be trusted to show mercy each morning uh they are new every morning great is your faithfulness what is the third they're new oh okay yeah so i'm confused why is, well, it's like saying that... What, NIV and like ESV, like same on 23, but... That's okay. Whatever word that you used in 22, compassion, Switch. kindness, uh, love, okay. that is new every morning and that 
is God's um, they're, they're new, okay, they're faithful new. to that. It's um, God is faithful to that promise. Yes, they're they're new every morning. Great is your faithfulness, and that just goes back to like, yeah, this talk. Like speaking of that steadfastness, but also just the it doesn't matter what happened yesterday. It starts over every right. morning. That love starts. It's not like you know carrying a list of. Oh well, this happened. This happened. This happened. It's like it's a reset every morning. The love never ends. Right. It's 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 always same way. The sun comes up. God's love is there. Right now, th- I'm happy you said that. You said it, same as the sun comes up and morning, morning, morning. I'm going to go a little out on a limb here and say that it it doesn't have to be the actual 24 hour reset period. Yeah, yeah. Like a morning could could mean just a a new beginning yeah. at any time. Right. It's constantly being renewed, right. restored. Right. And it's like not even in the sense of, yeah, like where you have an etch a sketch and you got to swing. Right. It's just, it's all, it, it, it's like a, a filter system. It's right. There is no impuring God's love. And so, yeah. But, yeah. Even if you're, even if your day, I'm going to use a lot of my bunny ears. Even if your day seems extra long, like you'll say, where is the morning? Yeah. It's coming. You that know, just like, the, you know, it won't rain forever. It won't be dark all night long. It's coming. So, yeah, as for thinking that you just have to keep waiting every 24 hours, that's not, I don't think that's what it's saying. Yes. Um, It's saying that it will be renewed. And sometimes it's going to feel longer than others. But the hope that Jeremiah promises in the 21, you know? Yes. I'm I'm guessing he's saying hold on to that hope because it will be morning. It will be morning will come again. Um I say to myself the Lord is my portion therefore I will wait for him. Which is confusing. Which is confusing. Um ESV the Lord is my portion says my soul therefore I will hope in him. You have hope. Um I like CEV on this one as well. Deep in my heart I say the Lord is all I need. I can depend on him. Easier easier and and i just like it's all obviously these are translations like they're all talking about the same thing but i like to pen sort of as a parallel to a lot of these other things like where we're talking about like that steadfast love rather than kindness it's the same idea or compassion same idea but it's easier to like sort of comprehend uh unwavering love that that is always renewed and it's like and that's why I like the idea of depend because where it's like I will wait for him is like I'll wait him to be like kind to me. Right. Or it's like I will hope in him. It's like I will hope he'll be kind to me. It's like I, I like the idea of deep in my heart to say the Lord is all I need. I can depend on him. It's like yeah, I see what you're saying. That the love is like that like depending shows the true belief of that steadfast love. Right. It's I, I, I know I can depend on him. Right. Because he is he has no like there is no, no reason. Change. Yeah, there, there's there no reason. There is no changing. It's steadfast love. Because dependable is a great um, thing to be. Yeah. You know, if 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 you if you call someone dependable, yeah. I you know so yeah, I will wait for him. You could be waiting for lots of things that yeah. may may or may not show up. But if someone is dependable, or if this you know the sun itself which rises, it, it is you can depend even if yeah. it's a cloudy day. You can depend that the sun will rise. So you're right. I think that word is really helpful in a, it, really helpful to make you feel calmer. Like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's the the difference of I hope the sun rises tomorrow and I can depend on the sun to rise tomorrow. Are you still grateful that the sun's going to rise? Yeah, absolutely. Right. You, you need it need to survive. And that's the the Lord is all I need. Like, but it then goes to the depend. Like, I have full faith because His love is steadfast. Right. His compassions never fail. You know, um, well, well, all, all that stuff. We would have been destroyed so many times in the past. Like, right. The same way the sun. How do you know? Because that, that's the line from 22 in CEV is, um, if he had not been merciful, we would have been destroyed. Right. Which is just talking about past times that, so it's the same thing with the sun. It's like, well, how do you know the sun's going to come up? And it's like, because if it didn't, if it ever didn't come up, we would be destroyed. We right. would be dead. Right. Right. Like, it's like, uh, it comes from con, like, the proof is in the pudding it's like right. every time i i you know no point of worrying it's always been there it always will be there yeah um at the beginning i told you that 
Lamentations was about complaining and about misery and about commiserating. Um, but of course, then I picked out the, the four lines that were not about complaining. But well, no, but I mean, you the, can tell he's he's hearkening back to it because he says like, "What what's your um, CEV start as?" Then I remember. Then I remember. So it's like, why is he saying then? Because he's well, he I, must have been. If we have one thing from Lamentations, you know, like that's sort it's sort of nice in that way because it's like. Like if especially in, in these walk through Thursdays where we pick out one verse, all limitations you know could have been the complaining, and we picked out the one verse that's when what what do you try to remember when you're complaining? Yes, it's it's okay to complain, right. and that's the whole idea of limitations. But it's also what do you like? Then what do you do from it? Right. It's it's then you remember something that fills me with hope. Yeah, and and uh, and as for um, what was the part? Oh, he would have destroyed us. Uh, we were, you know, yeah. we, we are not consumed. It's like, did you die though? You know, <laughs> did you die though? When you're telling them that I lost my house and my my family and my arms and my my mind. I lost did my you mind. die though? You know, I you're still here. I lost my dog to the <laughs> hawk. To the hawk. But you're, you're, you're still, still alive here. though. You have hope. And that's all you need. You might think, well, I need my dog back. And it's like, yeah. actually, you don't. all you need is God. And the hawk needed a dinner, so everyone wins. And we'll all be reunited. All right, guys, that is it for Walk Through Thursday. Um, a brand new concept we're trying. So let us know if you like it. Why are you teasing them? Gotcha, because I'm rizzled on coffee on coffee day. Oh, my gosh. Go celebrate Michael Miss the only way that you know how. Roast duck. Goose. goose. Roast goose. <laughs> duck, duck, goose. Peace. That's from playing with the kids. You're thinking of duck, duck, goose. Rock, 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 rock,